fishing has been a grind and so uh, I just want to take a moment to show you uh, how to fix your Hobie if you if you need to repair it um, if you have a leak or whatever uh, I'm gonna be out here with uh, with Tim weird fish this is a time to take a break and just repair your kayak anything that needs to be done you know you might want to put anchors you may want to uh, repair hose or you know whatever it is that, that you do this is the best time to do it is during the winter this is the old 2016 limited edition outback hobie outback really nice boat they don't make them like they used to all right this is what we're doing there is a big gash right here on this hobie and this is what uh, Weird Fish is going to repair. The JB Weld, plastic weld. Where'd you buy these at? You can get it at any any hardware store, auto parts store, Walmart. The flex tape. That's gonna go on the inside. Gonna blow all the leaves out. All right, so he's gonna clean it up with some alcohol. All right, basically what he's going to do is he is going to heat up the uh, heat up the plastic, use a dolly to uh, uh, see if he can melt that plastic back into place. So far, it's uh, coming along pretty good. Check this out. Just a nice scar. Now he is using an electric sander, just a lot easier to uh, sand it out a little bit. And then he's gonna put an epoxy. All right, giving it another touch up with the heat gun after it's been sanded down. Clean it up a little bit with water. Just a bottle of water with a, with the pinch hole on the lid. He is on the last phase, getting ready to, he sent it down, clean it up, and now he's going to uh, put an epoxy on it. And then later, um, he's probably gonna use flex tape to the inside as uh, extra protection for the kayak. But uh, if you look at the kayak, it is, you can't even see if there was any hole in there. Just a small scar, uh, looks more like a battle wound. Using flex seal, the black, he's gonna put it to the inside of the kayak, There it is, man. The flex seal is going in. Now that the surface is clean, you want to apply the JB Weld plastic. Plastic weld and then just apply it with a piece of cardboard, just like so. All right, look at that, man. Ooh, that's smooth. Smooth like a baby's bottom. <laughs> okay, this area right here, we are going to uh, clean it out uh, there's uh, glass stuck inside that plastic so what we're going to use is we're going to use a heat gun and um, so what you see here is that Tim is using a heat gun to loosen up the uh, plastic and then he's going to dig out all of the glass that's stuck in there because this kayak went through the windshield but uh, using a heat gun allows the plastic to loosen up and clean the surface so that you can smooth it out. After you heat it up and take all the glass out, you come back with it with a sander, just like so, and then just smooth it out and just clean it up real, real good with the sander. Then you wanna come back with the epoxy and just apply it the same way. And look at that. Man, it doesn't even look like there was glass or any kind of damage to the to the boat well that is it folks thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video helps someone who wants to do a diy using the jbl plastic weld and using some flex tape it's an easy job didn't take more than 20 minutes 
and uh, the rest of the time is just waiting for it to dry up. Again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a like. See you in the water. Peace out.